guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Meg's Mini Reviews. And today, we're going to do some Godzilla and Kong action. Oh yeah! Okay guys, so if you are new to this channel, hello and welcome. Uh, this is basically where I talk to you guys about my passion for movies. This goes from collections, hauls, reviews, and to today's video. And today... I'm finally going to watch all four of these movies. Obviously not in one go, but this week I plan to watch all of these movies, especially since Godzilla vs Kong is one of the 2021 movie reviews I haven't done. So yes, um, if you are new to this series as well, this is basically where I talk to you guys about the film before I watch it, uh, give you my thoughts, sort of like quick overthink of what I think the film's going to be about. I can't speak today. <laughs> um, I then watch the film and then I come back to you guys with my thoughts and then I give you guys sort of like a rating of how I felt the film was at 10 and for example if this was a DVD I'd let you know if I'd upgrade it to DVD but as it's on Blu-ray don't really need to upgrade it. <laughs> um, but yes so today's first movie is Godzilla. So this was the first one out of all of these movies because I'm going to watch them in order. And yeah, I'm going to be honest, I have no idea what I'm getting into. I haven't watched any of the trailers for any of these films. Um, all I know is that Godzilla and Kong are sort of like the big monster verse things. <laughs> um, so obviously the very first one is Godzilla apparently. So I have that in the player currently. It looks pretty menacing from the menu, if my camera will focus. There we go. So yeah, so the first movie is Godzilla. Like I said, I'm going into this with absolutely no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> but um, yeah, so who knows, I might enjoy this. So like I said, I have not watched any of these, so I will be going in order. Um, when it gets to Godzilla King of the Monsters, on the exact same day, I will be watching Godzilla vs Kong as part of my 2021 movie review marathon of the month. So yes, so wish me luck. And I will see you guys in a bit. But before I pass over, pass over, <laughs> before I go watch the film, pass over sounds like I'm dying. I'm not dying. <laughs> um, let's have a quick hello to Luna. There we go. There's the bubba. There she is. So I've got a companion whilst I'm watching this film. I know you guys like Luna, so any chance I can show her off, I will. But yeah, so I will see you guys after the film. Okay, so I've just finished watching Godzilla 2014. Oh, got a special guest. You coming up here, Uni? Come sit and do the review with me? <laughs> yes, so I just finished watching Godzilla 2014. Now, I have the only Godzilla slash King Kong kind of thing I've seen was the one with Jack Black. I think it was like 2006, seven, something along those lines. Um, but I've never seen a Godzilla movie, and that was the only King Kong movie I have actually ever seen. Um, so going into this movie, I was going in blind, which makes the change. Just normally I watch trailers to sort of like get a rough idea if I'm going to like it or not. I think I found Uni's good scratching spot. <laughs> you like that? You do. It was so adorable. But um, anyway, so just a quick overview of the plot. Basically, um, it starts off um, with this news story. Um, kind of opening uh, and then it jumps to 1994 um, to an incident in the Philippines uh, which then after that incident leads to Japan um, so then obviously there's this nuclear explosion in Japan um, and this family that works at the nuclear power plant um, uh, the dad is Brian Cranston I think that's how you say his name um, he and his wife are trying to fix this problem. His wife then perishes in the nuclear blast. And then we jump to 15 um, years later in the future with Ford, who's played by um, Aaron Taylor Johnson. And then you've got his wife, who's played by Elizabeth Olsen. Um, and basically he ends up going to try and help his dad figure out what happened those years ago. And then that leads to obviously Godzilla and these other monsters. And I'm not going to say any more than that. 
because I try to stay spoil free on my channel as much as I can. So I'm actually really surprised at how much I enjoyed this film. This film was so good, it got me on the edge of my seat. As soon as you got that first shot of Godzilla, oh my god, I was shocked. He looked he looked amazing. He, honestly, the monsters looked great. The effects looked great. I will say, because, <laughs> because the only film I've seen Elizabeth Olsen and Aaron Taylor Johnson together in was Age of Ultron, where they play siblings. It was a bit odd to see him play husband and wife. But I got over that. But I love how this film went. And I love the final battle at the end with Godzilla and these other monsters. Like, honestly, this is such a good film. And I'm so surprised at how long it took me to get to watch this film. It was so good. I was enthralled. I was rooting for the characters. I enjoyed every single character in this film. They, they each had their own aspect that I enjoyed. And honestly, just the effects of this film looks go so good. And some of the um, camera angles. So, for example, there was a lot of POV shots. So, point of view from the person's shot. And it looked amazing. It felt like you are in that movie. It felt like you were in that incident that was going on. And honestly, it just grew and grew and grew. Um, I like the fact... I know some people didn't like the fact that you didn't get to see Godzilla that much. And I think that's mainly for the people that um, love Godzilla as the creature. Um, but for me, going in blind, I love the fact that they took their time to grow this character and sort of like hype this character up. And then when they do do that shot where you see him just overlooking everything and roaring, it just honestly, it impacted me and I really enjoyed that. Honestly, the fight scenes, the, the character, honestly, I can't find anything to help with this movie. I really did enjoy it. Um, so I'm now looking forward to seeing the rest of these films. I don't know how they're going to be. Um, I'm not going to watch the trailers for those either, actually. I'm going to keep it, so I'm going in blind for each one. But, um, yeah, so overall rating, I think we'll give it a 10 out of 10, won't we, Uni? Yeah, we'll give Godzilla 2014 a good 10 out of 10. Honestly, absolutely love this movie, and I would happily watch it on repeat. Happily watch it again for any kind of thing that I need to watch. And yeah. Um, so obviously the next film apparently according to release order and the order it's supposed to be in is... I'm sorry I might have to cover Uni. <laughs> um, is Kong... <laughs> is Kong Skull Island. So please leave me a comment down below if Kong Skull, Skull Island is any good. Um, let me know your thoughts on Godzilla as well. If you enjoyed this film, if you didn't what you didn't like, what you did like, any comments like that always just makes me so happy because just talking to you guys about movies is brilliant and then when you guys comment back it just makes it even more better. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Are you going to give it a thumbs up? Are you poor? That's her thumbs up. <laughs> She's like, give the video a thumbs up. <laughs> but um, yeah, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you want to check out more of my Meg's Mini Reviews videos that are coming up, especially since the next one is Kong Skull Island in this series, then please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell on the left hand corner. J left hand corner? Right hand corner. I'm not sure. Whatever corner it's on. <laughs> and just click that to be notified when I post. And also so when you can see this adorable face again. <laughs> look at that face. It's so adorable. Oh, look at that. Oh, look. Oh, you can't say no to this. <laughs> but, um,. Anyway, yeah, so I look forward to sharing with you guys my thoughts on the other four films in this franchise. Well, other three, now I've watched one. Um, but no, so I look forward to watching the rest of the series. And yeah, Kong Skull Island is next. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!